question seven is all about equivalent fractions. There's the key words. So you write the two missing values to make these equivalent fractions correct. Now when you're doing equivalent fractions, it's all about finding connections between numbers to the two top numbers or the two bottom numbers, etc. So let me explain what I'm trying to say. So how do you get from this 8 to this 4? Well you halve it, you divide by 2. So if you're halving the 8 to get to the 4, you've got to also half the 12 to get to whatever this number is. Because whatever you do to the top number to get this top number, you've got to do this exactly the same to the bottom number. So if you're halving the 8 to get 4, you've got to half the 12 to get 6. So that has to be a 6 that goes in there. So the connection between the 8 and the 4 is the same as the connection between the 12 and the 6. Okay. Now we might need to um, go the other way. So obviously we don't know what this top number is, so let's look at the two bottom numbers. So how do I get from the 12 to the 3? You, you can't do this by taking away or adding. You can't do that. You've got to do it by either dividing or multiplying. So how do I get from the 12 to the 3? I divide by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Now whatever we do to the bottom two numbers it is the same connection between the top two numbers. So I'm going 12 divided by 4 to get the 3. I've got to also divide the 8 by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So there's your equivalent fractions. 2 thirds is equivalent to 8 twelfths and 2 thirds is also equivalent to 4 sixths. All three of these fractions are equivalent to each other.